Makita's got a real standout feature with their 12 volt cordless ratchet, but most don't know what it is. I'll clue you in when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Makita just released the new RW01 12 volt cordless ratchet. Now this runs on their CXT 12 volt platform, which is their lithium ion slide pack battery. And you can get this in a kit form, which is the RW01 R1, which comes with the tool, the two anvils, the quarter inch and the three eighths anvil, one 2.0 amp hour 12 volt battery, the charger and the carrying case. Now, if you go tool only, you're gonna get just the tool and the two anvils. Tool only is gonna run you about 129 and it's just 50 bucks more to get the kit. So I would definitely recommend the kit. I do wish they had a kit with two two amp hour batteries, uh, but that's okay. I, I think you're gonna get good runtime out of a single pack anyway. And if you're on the Makita platform already, you may already have 12 volt batteries. Now the big talked about feature is the change out anvils on this, is the ability to basically take a screwdriver or I've found the best is like a quarter inch extension, put it through here, pop the anvil off of here and be able to change out the anvils. I can change it out to the quarter inch and now I can put my quarter inch sockets on there and be off to the races doing my smaller fasteners. So that's a really cool feature. Again, kind of unique uh, to Makita, easy to pop those in and out, kind of gives you that uh, breadth of range, if you will, to work with your smaller fasteners or your larger fasteners or kind of medium fasteners uh, with one tool. Now, as far as a professional goes, I think that's gonna be a feature that might kind of drive you nuts. So you're going to probably buy another ratchet, but let, let me be clear on that. I can't fault Makita for that because they're basically offering a feature where I can change these out, but that frustrates me. So I'm gonna buy another ratchet. Well. If I was in any other cordless ratchet platform, that's what I'd be doing anyway. So I can't really fault that to Makita. I'm just saying, as a professional, I think you're probably gonna buy two tools. Now, maybe somebody starting out, a DIY guy, or maybe even somebody doing MRO or maintenance, things like that, um, where maybe you're not using this tool a lot. I think this feature may be great as long as you can keep from losing this. Just don't put it with your 10 millimeter socket. Uh, but anyway, so cool feature. That's kind of the raved about feature everybody's talking about. Let's talk about some of the other features. Number one, uh, as far as the reach on this, uh, it's a standard reach ratchet. In other words, it's really quite common to my, I pulled out three, three eighths inch ratchets. And you can see they're everywhere from, I think like uh, six and a half inches um, up to about eight inches. Um, and this one's right in between all of those. So kind of your standard reach, three eighths inch ratchet, this is nailing it right on the head. I mean, you even take the longest one here, which is the, uh, I believe it's a Husky here. Um, and if you looked at putting your hand on this, then again, you're at the same location or maybe even a little longer than this ratchet is. So I would call this kind of a standard reach ratchet and that's what it is. Um, so as far as balance goes, very balanced in the hand with the slide pack battery back here. Uh, the head up here is not too heavy, but it's definitely got some beef to it as well. Um, so it's balanced very well, very ergonomic in the hand, very easy to hold. I uh, got kind of a slim profile vertically uh, and then kind of a taller, uh, or I guess probably taller vertically and horizontally um, or, or width is kind of a little narrower kind of. So it, it fits very well in the hand. And I, I can see even a small hand guy being able to hold this uh, quite easily. As far as change of directions on here, basically you have a, a lever here that you flip from one side to the other. You do, it is kind of a long swing, if you will. I, I noticed somebody said something, I posted this on social media the other day and they said, man, that's a long throw on that. I, I guess so, um, but again, I, I don't think it's cumbersome. Um, but it is a little different than just typical uh, a 90 degree swing. It's, it's more of a 180 degree swing to change directions on the ratchet. But, but again, it, it's not cumbersome by any means. Um, so easy to just get up there, flip that and change the directions on that ratchet. Um, as far as popping this off, like I said, you can use, you can see you've actually got a hollow spot here. You can put a screwdriver in, or I've found the, the, just like a quarter inch extension, being able to easily pop those out. And, uh, and put those back in. And you can easily put it in with your hand, with your finger, with your thumb um, to put that in. You also have a trigger lock here. So make sure that it doesn't, that the light doesn't come on while it's in your toolbox or the tool doesn't come on. So you can flip that on. Uh, so now it's on, flip it up. Now it's locked out. 
um, so easily be able to lock out that that trigger uh, the trigger is more of a uh, just a trigger like I said it's not a paddle switch by any means I, I didn't have any problem with that um, one thing I did kind of get a little perturbed about um, is reading the fuel gauge on the battery it is kind of a pain um, because of the way the slide pack goes on uh, the battery gauge is up here which is kind of hidden by the handle now you can reach the battery gauge and you can press it and you can even read it uh, but it is a little bit of uh, kind of a, a cumbersome approach to doing it but again it's not a big deal because I, I doubt on this tool you're going to be running through a lot of batteries you're probably you know going to use a battery all day long pull it off and put it on the charger and be fine now let's talk about the real standout feature that i think sets the makita rw01 apart from the other cordless ratchets that are on the market right now and that is the speed of this tool 800 rpms so as i've mentioned on other reviews i'm not looking at a cordless ratchet to be a torque wrench I'm also not looking at it to be an impact wrench. That's not what they are. Even though you may hear clicking, that's not impact. That's just a ratchet, just like you would, you know, turn your ratchet, the same thing here. You're hearing the ratcheting mechanism, not any type of impact mechanism. So this is not an impact wrench. It's not meant to drive fasteners on uh, to their final resting place, if you will. Um, so I'm looking at this as a nut runner, as a speed, to run that nut on and off or to run that bolt in and out. So that's what I'm looking at this for. So the fact that it's 800 RPMs, so at least double and maybe triple of a lot of the cordless ratchets that are out there, I really like this tool because it's a lot faster. Again, speed uh, is going to cut down on the time that I'm using a tool, especially when you're reaching in there and you're trying to run a long fastener out. That's where this is definitely gonna help. They rated at 35 foot pounds, I could care less. Uh, as long as it will you know, run the nuts on and off without kind of season up, if you will. So as long as it's got enough guts to run the nuts, run them off, I will finish tightening them with the manual cranking of the tool itself or breaking free as well. So again, I'm looking at this as a nut runner for speed, not for torque. So that's why I really like this. That's why I say that the standout feature to me is the 800 rpms that this tool puts out so kudos to makita for doing that i would like to see this in an extended reach i think that might keep some from buying into this platform because not having the extended reach they may look at something else that may not be as good or may not be all the features that they want but because they're going to get the ability to have that extended reach ratchet as well as a standard reach so i'd love to see makita come out with an extended reach ratchet. Also love to see them put the fuel gauge somewhere, but again, that's kind of small potatoes to me. 129 for tool only, pretty cheap price. Um, 179 for tool, battery, charger, everything else. Again, I think that's a great price for somebody to get into. Um, once you use a cordless ratchet, you're gonna fall in love with it. Same with this, I think it fits in really tight places. The head of this is, is very narrow. Um, compared to, uh, again, you know, 3 8 drive ratchets, it's very comparable uh, compared to other cordless ratchets. I think it's as small or smaller, definitely smaller than most of the 3 8 inch cordless ratchets that are out there, um, and every bit as small as the quarter inch uh, heads that are out there. So, so be sure to check out the Makita RW01 at MakitaTools.com. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video, and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of future videos. Have a great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody, and God bless.